basic services seems to be a distant dream for communities, something President Zuma said will reach all. Aina Seven's Patisa Mfuya went out to an informal settlement and filed this report. In just a few days, President Jacob Zuma will deliver his State of the Nation address. This period reminds some communities like Braidini in KwaZulu-Natal of how much they are left out from the president's promises. Last year during his sauna, the president highlighted rollout of the next phase of the nine-point plan of Back to Basics launched in September in 2014. This meant that all should have access to clean drinking water, to sanitation, electricity, shelter, waste removal and roads as per the Bill of Rights. The nine-point plan consists of revitalization of the agriculture and agro-processing value chain, water and sanitation, transport infrastructure, broadband rollout, state-owned enterprises. Residents of Braidini in formal settlements still remain out of such progress. They have lost hope of getting these basic services, this after lodging several complaints with their DA ward councillor, Sean Riley, without any response. There is no communication between the community and our councillor. Even if we request for a meeting to voice our grievances, the councillor does not come to our meetings. Resident says that when it rains, sewage pipes clog up, forcing the overflow into the residents' homes and collapsing parts of the roads in the area. They fear that if the leak isn't contained, the road may collapse entirely, putting the whole community at risk. Uh, considering the safety and the health for the kids, especially the kids, not us, us okay, we can manage, but though for us it's bad as well. Uh, the kids, this is where they play. This is where they stay. This is their home, a place where should be, they, should be, they should be safe. But what 36 local councillor denies such allegations. He says that his hands are tied as he is waiting for the Eteguini municipality to act. Um, it's not as though it's neglected on my behalf. I spend a proportionate amount of time in that area as I do in the rest of my ward in, in Durban North. At the end of the day, um, ultimately it's the responsibility of the municipality and the administration to make sure that these problems are um, sorted out. The mayor's office has rubbished these claims by the DA and says that as soon as they were notified by ANN7 of the issue, implementation process began. After receiving reports on the issue, the mayor has sent a, a spoke to the engineers and sent them on the ground. As we speak right now, they are fixing the, the problem. But of course, it's a temporal measurement. The long term is, is going to be done and implemented for the community. Edin community says that their pleas are falling on deaf ears. They've lived with this problem since 1999 and are appealing to government to please assist them. They're saying that the conditions here are not only hazardous for the children but also for the community as well. For NN7, I'm Patisam Fuyo in Durban.